so here's how it works you were source energy before you came into this body now you don't remember that some of you speculated and some of you sense it and some of you have enough resonance within you to know it but for the most part humans don't have any real connection with who you were before you came forth into this physical body and we're not really big proponents of that anyway because before you came into this physical body you were source energy but even though you are now in this physical body that part of you still exists so present tense it's not something that was I was non-physical consciousness before I became present physical person in this physical body the correct way of understanding it is I am non-physical energy while at the same time I am in this physical body and if you can accept those two vibrational perspectives or beingness or vantage points then and only then will you understand what your emotions are telling you because your emotions in every moment are the blend sometimes better sometimes not so good the allowing of the blending or the resisting of the blending of who you really are and the more you're allowing it the friskier you feel the more exhilarated you feel the more passion and clarity and stamina the more vivid life is the more love and joy and appreciation you're feeling but the more you pinch that off which is what resistance is which is what thinking thoughts that are counter to who you really are and what you really are knows when you think those resistant thoughts then the emotion that you feel is the pinching off letting you know that you're not fully flowing in the way you intended to negative emotion that feels like fear or anger or resentment or disappointment or any of those negative emotions so the better you feel the less you are resisting who you are now a more positive way of saying that is the better you feel the more you are allowing the wholeness of who you are but the reason that we want to say to you in a way that you can really hear it the better you feel the less you are resisting who you really are is because it's just that resisting thing that you've got going on that is keeping you from who you are and what you're wanting because while you are here in this physical body and you are exploring the variety that surrounds you you are launching these rockets of becoming and you are the larger part of you far and away the larger part of you is becoming from our point of view present tense has become is already what you're asking for so while you're in this body launching these rockets the larger part of you becomes it but you sometimes in fact quite frequently don't let yourself flow in the direction of what you've actually become and that is what negative emotion is that's why negative emotion exists life caused you to become more and you're not going not right now because you're still beating the drum of why you ask for it I really really need it and it's wrong that I don't have it and those other ones over there have got it and I don't think it's fair and when am I gonna get my share and I really want it now and so as you are observing life there are plenty of things that are happening today in your life that are not exactly as you want them to be but if you could understand that in all of that living of life you've been asking for improvement even if you are only a one-celled organism you've been asking for improvement you're far more than that you're genius leading as creators as you are asking for more that asking has already actualized vibrationally and if it had not then negative emotion would not be possible in other words if you had not expanded beyond what you are allowing you would never feel negative emotion or if you have expanded and you are allowing the expansion you will feel positive emotion but if you've expanded and you're not allowing the expansion then you feel negative emotion so a lot of times the negative emotion you feel feels like it's someone else's doing they're doing that to me Esther made a reservation at one of the places that they like to park their bus in the Boston vicinity makes them months in advance and specifically requests specific places to be because they have a really big bus it's long and it's tall and it wants 50 amps <laughs> they tried it once on 30 amps and it freaked out in the night all of the breakers went boom 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 they thought they were being assaulted by machine gun <laughs> fire and then 14 things never worked again and while they have all been repaired now 
they are back in the same place and the woman says we only have a 30 amp site for you and Esther said I want to hurt you <laughs> Well, it's a knee-jerk reaction when someone hurts you don't you want to hurt them back and doesn't it feel like it's somebody else's fault and Esther said seriously I would have never ever ever agreed to that because we've had experiences in this park with 30 amps and the woman said well we record every phone call and Esther said that's good for me because I know that I requested with great specifics a 50 amp side and so they dug up the recording it was really interesting because in 14 different ways Esther specifically acknowledged how important it was that they have 50 amps but in one small unheard by Esther sentence <laughs> the woman had said sometimes we cannot guarantee because someone may get there before you do and take the power from your pole only she didn't say it in that much specific she just said well I've got you on a 50 amp site and the little blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and when Esther listened back to it she could see how the woman was confirming her rightness with the same recording that Esther was confirming her rightness how can we both know that we're right now what we're getting at is so something that should not have happened happened or should it have not happened or should it have happened in other words as Esther listened back to the recording she realized how many times she mentioned how important 50 amps were from her place of clearly knowing that she didn't want 30 amps in other words it's tricky isn't it in other words the way it turned out and what Esther now knows about law of attraction which she's been arguing with all day but she <laughs> she knows that she is not the one exception in all of the universe although she thinks that if anyone should be it should be her <laughs> But Esther acknowledged because of the way it turned out because the way things manifest that's your proof isn't it the way things manifest is your proof of what's going on in your vibration oh oh that's painful to hear what's happening is proof what's happening is an indication of my vibration Abraham give me a break didn't you hear the recording we said we heard the universal recording we heard the same recording that law of attraction heard we heard your concern about a 30 amp site which was far 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 more vivid than your appreciation of a 50 amp site your concern about what you did not want was far more active in your vibration than your vibration of what you do want well that right there explains to all of you the reason that it's nobody else's fault anything that happens to you and while we acknowledge it sure feels better to blame somebody else than it does to accept your own stupidity oh, well we got just a little carried away there then it does to accept your own guilt in every case whatever is coming to you is a vibrational indicator of what you've got going on vibrationally and so if we were standing in your physical shoes and something happened in our experience and we did not like it we would bring ourselves into an awareness of what we prefer and we would practice the preference so often and so vividly that there could never again be confusion on the part of the universal manager who arranges all campsites for all campers <laughs> talk about a really effective concierge in the sky 